Velocity and distance questions are using an application of the derivative. And what you need to know for this is that the distance or position uh, function regarding an object, um, if you take its derivative, you always get its velocity at a specific time. So typically your position functions are going to be represented by maybe a height or just a, di a regular type of displacement function usually of the form s of t or maybe h of t. So let's do a quick example. Say we had the function negative 16t squared plus 32t uh, plus 48. And this was our position function of some object. If we wanted to find the velocity of the object at any time, we would take the derivative. So s prime of t equals v of t, and that in this case would be negative 32t plus 32. So at any time t, if you plug t equals 1 second, 2 second, 3 seconds into this function, you'll get where is the object, how far. If you plug it into this function, you'll get how fast is it going. And furthermore, if you take one more derivative, s double prime of t, which would be v prime of t, that is called the acceleration. In this case, that would just be negative 32. So the acceleration of an object is how fast is its velocity changing. So we have position, first derivative is velocity, second derivative is acceleration, and that can tell you a variety of things uh, in a given distance, velocity, acceleration type of problem. Keep in mind that when they th say things like, the object stops. When it stops, that means its velocity is equal to zero. If uh, it you know, returns to its starting point or something like that, that means your position function is going to be equal to zero. So there's a lot of keywords that you need to get in the habit of looking for when you have these distance, velocity, acceleration problems. But this is the hierarchy of how the functions uh, are worked.